What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Chefs React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell. Because we're, we're on the road to 50K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Um, something that I want to talk about now with the quarterfinals, but um, ties into the Italy game. Uh, having lost to uh, New Zealand, we now have this kind of knockout rugby mentality. You know, if we didn't beat Italy, going home, you know, good chance of going home. Um, talk to me about the mentality of knockout rugby and how that impacted you, knowing that like this could be my, you know, Italy could be my last big test. Quarterfinals Japan could be the last test, you know. So the yeah, knockout mentality and how it impacted you. I think firstly, you know, um, Rossi, uh, what he said to us after that first loss uh, against New Zealand, you know, it was obviously a stumble in the blocks, and uh, he literally said that, boys, we've got four big games left, and uh, it was Italy quarterfinal, semi-final, and final. Obviously, no disrespect to Namibia and Canada, <laughs> but he said these are the games, the must-win games that you know we have to obviously pitch up and play out of our skins, and he put it that way. Four big games for you to become world champions and change your lives forever, and, hope, and drink out of that cup. <laughs> That's what he's exact to it, you know? And, you know, literally give hope to South Africa and do all these great things. Four big, you know, four games, you know? So he just put it across to the boys like that. And then he just changed your whole mentality, You're like, four games, man, that's nothing. So for, for you to show off for just four games and put your body on the line and contribute to the success of the team and then you end up, you know, literally holding that cup was just enough motivation to the boys, you know. So we just targeted those games and we exhausted our energy. And, uh, yeah, I think knowing that, you know, if you lose, you go home, it just kind of, you know, pushes, you know, um, you to the edge and you know, drives you to, you know, kind of giving you all and digging deeper and all of that. So I think that's what we did as a team. And, you know, for all four of those games, you know, we pitched up in a big way and then, uh, you know, ended up actually, you know, yeah, defying the odds and surprising the entire world. <laughs> and yeah, thanks. Knowing, like, knowing that this could be a lot yeah. game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no, nah, nah, for me, um, you know, like I said, you know, I was, I was prepared to die in the jersey, you know. Mm. And I say that literally because, you know, I thought about it so many times, you know, my, you know, my, my wife and my kids were there uh, for the bulk of the time, you know, the World Cup, um, and, uh, and my wife, literally could not recognize me because I was I was in this like zone you know I'm not he said he was in the zone can you go in the load in that what's I was preparing a D.I.E. in that jersey man mm -hmm. he said whatever it costs whatever it takes whatever's gonna be yeah I don't think you can go no load in that because I'm thinking about you know competitors how's their mindset when they're coming up against the spring box you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. their mindset was like whatever it takes this is gonna be the end or the you know what I'm saying or what like mm -hmm. that's big Passion. Old mentality was like, this is it, you know, so I was always kind of in, you know, I'm um, visualizing about the game, thinking about the game, so I didn't really uh, relax too much. It was all about, you know, making sure that I pitch up in a big way and contribute to the team. So, yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was myself. I was just like ready to, you know, to go beast mode every single time. He was time. the beast. Just, you know, uh, yeah, realize that, that dream. Man. Is that right? Is that, is that a good enough answer? Yeah, I like Is it? Okay. I'll like put it in a nice way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, are you feeling good though? Yeah, it's water. Um, so I'm going to drop your memory now. I'm going to go kind of tail into the World Cup. Okay. And if you can, as much as possible, because we're going to show this as live, um, you can talk me through uh, like as, as it's happening, you know, or as it happened in real time. Turn my sound off. I think this is it. Um, just Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I know what's coming next. <laughs> That's all good. So, I mean, if you could talk us through this, how it happened and what was going through your mind, and yeah. <laughs> it was it. It was it. Well, 
Oh, jeez, yeah, I remember that moment. <laughs> I think uh, I was so, uh, you know, psyched up. I was like, uh, like I said in beast mode. <laughs> so I literally just wanted to, you know, smash the guy and not really obviously do it illegally. I just wanted to smash him and make a, you know, and obviously a statement to say that we're here for business. You know, we we want to win this game. And um, yeah, and obviously hit him so hard and try to drive him back. And he tried to pull out and uh, in a way, you know, drop his head a bit and then it just made it look that much worse. So after the attack, you can see that I was uh, <laughs> remorseful immediately. You know, I put out my hands and then I you now showed Wayne that, you know, I'm, I didn't. They mean mm. business, baby. Straight up. They go on the wall. Mm -hmm. on that film. Mm. <laughs> okay, so when I was listening to this, I was thinking about how people outside of the United States make fun of our football players uh, being in pay. I seen it coming. Yeah. But when you have this, man, hey, our football different. players already got to deal with concussions and things. Facts, facts. We don't need their bones bro broke. Man, and I, mean, I understand he's not literally trying to hurt him. I understand that. You think? But um, you think the preparation to want to win the World Cup, making a statement, yeah, whatever it takes. I'm wearing a D.I.E. in his jersey. Oh, I think he made business. <laughs> he don't care. He don't care. We coming through with the head, shoulders, everything. <laughs> <laughs> intend to hurt him and uh thank god that wayne bonds is a really great referee you know because um he literally saw that in my eyes uh, that i didn't mean to you know kind of spear tackle the guy and he kind of knew about my reputation that i'm not a guy you know who gets yellow cards and stuff all the time so that could have easily escalated to a red card you know if we'd gone to a tmo mm. but out of here safely the moment, you know and i was able to go for 10 minutes and cool off and i was stressing so much but uh yeah it was just because i was so you know so so hungry to do well and uh, win that game yeah. Gotta be See, that's a, now you do. That's a big difference, though, man. Them red cards, you got to sit for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. You watch your team go at it for 10 minutes, and you're supposed to be playing. Usually, mm -hmm. in our sport for football, coach pull you out, can throw you back in. You get a flag, you're still playing. The only way you can get kicked out of the game is just like a technical. Mm -hmm. And you do something like, like the referee just say, you out, bro. Like, that's it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, 10 minutes is a while. Yeah, that's just watching everything happen. And maybe they had momentum before you got... Uh, put out and right. you know like when the 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 what is it called the captains of the teams when they get put out you know oh man then everybody else like oh man right right you know. Yeah. Uh, it was a tough 10 minutes, the longest 10 minutes of my life. <laughs> because the whole time I was just, you know, praying. I'm like, please, uh, Lord, let them not score, you know, whilst mm. off. So the whole time I was just, you know, I, I had to sit down because you have to, you know. But I, you know, I just remember being so, uh, you know, anxious and, uh, yeah, just kind of, you know, praying silently, you know, saying that, you know, I don't want the Japanese team to score. And then, now uh, the boys did well, you know, they really defended. And the only thing they got from the 10 minutes, uh, me and Sia were off, was uh, the three points, yeah. And the whole time, you know, Sia was just saying, I oh, don't worry about it. Just go back and, you know, make up for it and, uh, you know, make a huge impact. So that was my whole thing, you know, and I was just thinking, when I get on the pitch, I'm going to contribute in a big way. And I think one of the first things I did when I got back on the field, it was a big scrum and uh, you know that kind of energized the team so yeah I guess I'm happy they didn't you know score a try in those 10 minutes okay. um, they did um, they did get a, they got three points yes. from, from dominating the scrum yes yes so I mean how did you feel I know that we didn't score a try but also early in the game it was a very tight game yes it was and um, seeing the scrum be dominated and you're off the pitch and we lose three points. But more about seeing seeing that effect that it had on the team. I know I know they didn't score a try, but how did you feel seeing the scrum get dominated and the penalty? Yeah, no, I definitely uh, you know definitely hurt me and uh you know and that's when I, I thought you know I should be out there you know and, uh, and I let down the team and uh yeah I just wanted to get back and make amends for it you know obviously you know we're seven men in the scrum and they took advantage and uh yeah I think you know when I yeah I got back on the field the first thing I did was make amends for the, for those three points yeah but I guess you know I'm, uh, the boys really did you know their utmost best and defended you know like Trojans you know I remember Dwayne smashing somebody Trojans. you know when I was sitting on that you know on that chair and uh, yeah I just wanted to get back and join the boys so in the way yeah we did make up for for those three points yeah okay i'll show you know, the next clip is, is, is similar to what you were just talking about okay. so yeah can you talk this through in the real time for me, please and it's five three so scores are tight you're back on the field like, just yeah. talk to me about what your your strategy was here where okay. the energy came from and talk a bit about your reaction <laughs> uh, again. Okay, that's, okay. 
Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I, I just wanted to obviously uh, get a, a scrum penalty. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, every time when I when I obviously um, pushed the other guy backwards, and you know, I gave me so much energy, and that energy also rubbed onto the other guys around me. And I think what you're seeing there is just passion. It's just pure passion. And it's just you know what I feel for mm-hmm. the jersey, what I feel for the spring box, and uh, that's why I got a guy and I decided to show it. it just happened naturally. Listen. Oh, that's that's Listen. Let's get it. Passion, Passion. and love for the Springboks, knowing that y'all are representing y'all country. Mm. Now, listen. We we have regional teams, right? Um, I, I'm not. I don't even want to open the door for no debate about <laughs> our teams. But we have regional teams, so we don't really know that feeling of. Everybody in the United States is is rooting for this squad to Facts. you know yeah, go yeah, against yeah. another country, but we do know um, the Super Bowl, yeah. you know. But again, it's like that is regional. Imagine if we had something like this fighting for the World Cup, like a national title. I'm trying to think. Do we have anything? I mean, we may tune in as a people, Nothing but we're we not as like we, like we have some people that's just. <laughs> Like overly invested into it's, one team, yeah. Only, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. it's us against us. At yeah, the end I'm of the thinking day. of like soccer and baseball. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So. Um, yeah, I but wish imagine. that would be different. Wow, right, right. Man, that would be different. Everybody That'd be, would be cool. off. Everybody, everybody would be like going to the game. You know, that's our team. Like you can't, you know. We from Louisiana. We have a football team, yeah. but not everybody in Louisiana like our football team. Right, you right, know? right. But everybody will be rooting for our team if we had a United States team, rugby yeah, team going like against. Yeah, like they have for the Springboks. Yeah. yeah, that and, would be. And dope. I know we do have rugby teams, but it's it's not that popular yet. But it's gaining momentum in the heard, United heard States. That. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. So for him to you know have that love and passion for his team and his country and to try to do his the, his best. Okay, he was ready for war. Nah, facts, facts. Yeah. Uh, he definitely spoke my language, man. Um, It's like having your back against the ropes. You know what I'm saying? He said, you have to win these next few games or that's it, y'all out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And sometimes guys get way too comfortable, man. Mm-hmm. They don't want that mentality. They yeah. want to make what they can make and then they can go back on cruise mode. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want to be with my back against the rope where I can lose it all right, if right. I don't do it. But I want to have my back against the ropes to where I have to get up every single day and I still want to put out what I'll do to, whatever it is that I'm doing to yeah, keep that yeah. momentum going. I like yeah. that build up. I, yeah, guys can't be getting too comfortable out here, man. You got to put that work in. That's a word. Mm-hmm. Okay. From motivational speaker. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace.